I'm Daniel Lucas, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. And today, I have Chef Richard as my special guest. Chef Richard, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for having you again on my podcast. Not a problem. So let's talk about appetizer. What are the appetizers you like? Do you like? Uh, one of my favorite ones is it. Um, it's a sesame crusted ahi tuna tataki served on Asian slaw, and it's topped with um, like a thickened ponzu and sriracha. Wow. So it's it's it a uh, Japanese appetizer? It's like a it's like a Japanese appetizer, but it's um, been kind of like modernized for like um, Western cuisine, right? Mm-hmm. And what they do is they pan they take the tuna a bit of the tuna lo, ahi tuna loin and they dip it in um, black and white sesame seeds and then they just quickly pan sear it and they slice it thin and it gets put on um, this Asian slaw. It's like coleslaw with carrot and radicchio and cabbage and they lay it out on the plate and then they slice the tuna really thin and they spread it out over the Asian slop and then they put thickened ponzu and Mm -hmm. sriracha over top of it. So do you think that appetizer is cold or hot? It's warm on the outside, but it's uh, cold in the center. They serve it's it's served rare. Mm-hmm. So in between hot and cold. Yes. Oh, that's nice! Amazing. And, and it is so good. It's mm-hmm. hard to it's hard to find it anymore. I, it was in places. Um, it, they served it at the Bruce Street uh, Tap House in. Uh, Port Coquitlam, but now it's it's closed, so I don't know of anywhere else that serves it. Mm-hmm. So if you rate it 1 to 10, where is it? Oh, I would rate it about an 8. Wow, really? Yeah, as long as it's done properly and um, it, just a combination of things, it's just so good. Okay, so if you compare this appetizer to different kind of appetizer, is this more light or this is more heavy appetizer or it's it's a light it's a light appetizer like sometimes you get those appetizers where it's like baked brie and phyllo pastry with cranberry aioli or whatever on top of it right it mm-hmm. seems to be like a really heavy appetizer because it's cheese mm-hmm. right cheese yeah. and pastry and then you spread the cheese and then they serve it with toast points this is just nice and light because it's just the tuna and like a small type of coleslaw salad on it. And that's it. Oh, that's great. So so what can you advise for people out there looking for uh, what is the unique appetizer that available in in a local area, in in, in our place? You know, what I look for when I go out for appetizers is I look for appetizers that if I'm going to eat appetizers that I can't make at home. Mm -hmm. If you can if you can take the time and make it at home, why would you pay 15, 20 dollars for it in a restaurant? Go somewhere where, you know, or research your menus and then go somewhere where you want to have tried different types of appetizers that aren't like your normal places like cactus club and milestones and stuff like that research appetizers then go there and give them a try and search for appetizers that you know you will never make at home and that way you can have a different experience wow great advice Sheffy. i think yeah that's a good advice for people looking for you know different unique appetizer yeah and you know Yeah. And, also, and also before you go out for dinner decide whether you're going to have a meal or not but mm-hmm. if there's like two or three of you then just go out somewhere and try a bunch of different appetizers instead of um, ordering a meal that way you can try different things because you're all trying different items right 
true. Yeah, that's true. That's really true. And uh, thank you, Shafi, for your time. More you too. Did you too.